What a year! In December, we saw the market continue to cool with days on market and price reductions increasing. Let's talk more about it right after this. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jill Uplager with Denver Real Estate at Remax Alliance. If you're interested in the Denver area, then you have come to the right place. I post weekly tips, tours, and topics about real estate and living in the Denver area. If you'd like to see more of my videos, remember to tap that subscribe button. Highlights for December, the rate of home appreciation continued to slow. Buyers are waiting for the right price and interest rate. Sellers are waiting to list their properties and homes are staying on the market 26 days longer than this time last year. Let's run through statistics and then we'll go into a discussion about the results. Homes sold decreased 8% versus last month and was down 41% year over year. The number of homes sold was similar to January 2022. The most activity continued to be in the 400 to 600,000 price range. 42% of all closings were in this range with homes spending 32 days on the market. The luxury market, price range of 1 million plus, was 8% of the total closings. December median price was down 1% to last month. Year over year home prices are up 3%. Homes closed averaged 95.5% of the original list price. Home prices peaked in April 2022. Since then, prices are 10% lower. December median price was 555,000, down 1.5% to November. Single-family homes were 600,000, 80,000 less than this year's high. Condos, townhomes, multifamily homes were 408,000, 32,000 less than the median high this year. New listings were down 35% to last month and 33% year over year. At the end of December, there were 4,729 active listings returning to pre-pandemic levels. The number of homes going under contract was down 12% month over month and 26% versus last year. The median number of days a home was on the market increased to 31 days, up 10 days versus November, and 26 days more than last year. Homes are staying on the market six times longer than a year ago. Average days on market is now 44. There are currently seven weeks of inventory, two weeks less than November. Let's dig into the highlights for December 2022. Home appreciation from January 2020 to May 22 saw a 44.5% increase in Denver according to CoreLogic. Since then, the drop has been almost 5%, but that's still a strong price appreciation rate. According to Realtor.com, Colorado is one of a few West Coast states seeing the biggest price reductions. Almost 53% of active listings reduced their asking price. Listings with a price reduction spent 105 days on the market versus 56 days for those with no price reduction. There's still low inventory in the Denver area. The average number of active listings during the month of December is normally 12,350. We ended this year with just 4,700. 2022 mortgage rates were 6.55% at the end of the year. The Federal Reserve meets again at the end of January. We'll have to wait and see if mortgage rates are affected by their decisions. Buyers are waiting for the right price and interest rate combination. There are many buyer opportunities right now with motivated sellers willing to negotiate on price or pay down interest rate to make their home more affordable. Sellers didn't bring many homes into the market where new listings were down to last year and last month. Speculation is that sellers are waiting for the spring season ramp up in hopes the market becomes more favorable than what we saw in the second half of 2022. This is a high level look at the Denver Metro real estate market, which spans over several counties. There are variations by city, neighborhood, and even price range. A knowledgeable real estate agent can help you understand city and neighborhood trends, as well as helping clients write a competitive offer. The media can give mixed messages about the housing market. I would love to have a conversation with you and answer any questions you may have. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. If you found today's topic helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you'll get notifications every time I post a video and you won't miss a thing. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to check out some of my other videos showing on the screen. Thanks for watching.